it's time for a wake-up call. The savory scent of freshly sizzled bacon. The enticing aroma of just squeezed OJ and then a waft of syrupy goodness swirling around a stack of pancakes. A perfectly flipped omelet with stringlets of cheese oozing out. Last night's Calvin Klein model hand delivering all of the above for breakfast in bed. This is the stuff morning fantasies are made of. One sabotaging your cup with creamer. Cup of coffee or tea, that is. A healthy cup of coffee can contribute to pound creepage if you add sugary, fatty creamers. Instead, Try switching to a sugar-free soy milk, hemp milk, almond milk, or oat milk. After a few days, your taste buds will adjust and you won't miss the calorie-laden, health-harmful sugar and fat, says Juliana Hever, MS, RD, CPT, a plant-based dietitian and author of The Vegetarian Diet and The Complete Idiot's Guide to Plant-Based Nutrition. 2. Turning to energy drinks. Put down that can of chemicals or bottle of sugar water, stat. If you're not a coffee fan and need an instant wake-me-up, then what you need to find is your perfect tea. I'm a huge fan of matcha, which is a really potent green tea, says food journalist Kelly Choi, author of the 7-Day Flat Belly Tea Cleanse. And if you don't have the patience for piping hot tea to cool or you're more of a smoothie person, tea smoothies are awesome options, too. Watch Kelly whip up her favorite tea smoothies, complete with recipes, in our exclusive video playlist How to Recipes, Tea Smoothies. 3. Eating too much salt. It's time to cut the salt already suggests Lisa Hayam, registered dietitian and founder of The Well Necessities. So many of our favorite breakfast options are loaded with salt. Hash browns, quick cook oats, bacon, and even eggs, prepared out of house, can be loaded with sodium. Sodium causes you to retain water, which leaves you bloated from the start of the day, says Hayam. If you like to give your eggs or oats more flavor, try jazzing them up with red chili pepper flakes, paprika, cayenne or even turmeric or powdered mustard. For going for the Grand Slam. No news flash here, but worth a cautionary reminder, starting the day with a large high-fat, high-sodium breakfast will give you a bloated belly and you will feel sluggish all day, exclaims celebrity nutritionist Lisa DeFazio, MS, RDN. It takes a lot of work for your body to digest those calories and you will be sleepy, bloated, and unproductive. Skip the grand slam with eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, hash browns, and so on and your belly will thank you. To help to puff ASAP, find out the number one detox fruit. 5. Skipping breakfast to snooze. Not only is skipping breakfast a risky move because it may lead to overeating, metabolism drops, and more, hitting the snooze button is doing double damage. You've already interrupted your sleep with your alarm, so you might as well get up and get nourished. Pressing the snooze button can negatively affect your hormones including growth factor and cortisol which unfavorably influences belly fat, say the nutrition twins, Lissy Lakatos, RDN, CDN, CFT, and Tammy Lakatos James, RDN, CDN, CFT and authors of the Nutrition Twins Veggie Cure. Don't set your alarm intending to hit snooze time after time. Set your alarm for a little bit later and get up as soon as your alarm goes off. This may be a little bit difficult at first, but you'll appreciate a little extra sleep, as will your waistline. 6. Overloading on fiber. Eating large amounts of fiber in the morning will make you gassy, warns DeFazio. Yes, fiber is important, but don't overdose on it. A large amount at one sitting will make you very bloated and gassy by mid-morning. Make sure to drink a lot of water when you eat fiber to move it through the digestive tract. Otherwise, it can get stuck. And be sure to steer clear of the worst fiber-rich foods for weight loss, many of which beckon from grocery shelves and claim to be the star in your morning meals. 7. Chugging Bulletproof Coffee Coffee on its own isn't bad for your waistline and the caffeine may even help you to work out harder and burn a few extra calories. But trendy bulletproof coffee supplies very few nutrients and a whopping 441 calories 80% of which are artery-clogging saturated fat which certainly isn't good for your waistline, say the Nutrition Twins. Although it's recommended instead of breakfast, it replaces a typically nutrient-dense meal that contains antioxidants, fiber, and nourishment like oatmeal, a hard-boiled egg, and berries. Bulletproof coffee has no fiber or protein, both of which are top recommendations as part of a breakfast that provides long-lasting satiety. We're thinking this coffee trend is as serious a pass as the recent scrunchy revival. 8. Making granola your go-to. This seemingly innocent food is almost always loaded with added sugar, cautions Haim. In fact, most companies use synonyms or alternative words for plain old sugar to disguise it. When choosing a granola, look for a no sugar added and steer clear of coconut sugar, agave, and even evaporated cane juice. The surprising amount of sugar in innocent foods is precisely why David Zinchenko, eat this, not that. Creator and best-selling author, wrote his brand new book, Zero Sugar Diet. Pick it up to discover how to curb your cravings and lose up to a pound a day. 9. Eating just to eat. You're told to eat as soon as you wake up, 
but it may lead to weight gain if you are not hankering for a meal yet. Listen to your body, try tuning into your natural hunger slash satiety signals and have breakfast only once you are truly physically hungry. Your body knows best about how much and when you need to eat, says Hever. Don't wait until you are starving, though, this can lead to poor choices and overeating. If you're in the mood for something refreshing and not too heavy feeling try one of these 56 smoothie recipes for weight loss. 10 Saying hello again to leftovers. We get it sometimes we are too tired, too lazy, and too hungry for anything other than leftover pizza or birthday cake. But don't do it. Urges to Fazio. Think about how you will feel all day. The fat and salt from the pizza and sugar from the cake are recipes for bloating, fatigue, and blood sugar ups and downs. Been skimping on protein. You don't want to be cavalier about this important macronutrient. It's easy to load up on carbohydrates like bagels, croissants, and cereals for breakfast. But protein is a key factor in satiety and keeping your blood sugar stable for longer periods of time, offers Hayam. Compared to a high-carbohydrate meal, a high-protein meal is associated with a level blood sugar for up to 3 hours post-meal consumption. Check out the best foods for a high-protein breakfast and leave your first meal satisfied stat. 12 Doing Oats All Wrong You do you is a phrase we can wholeheartedly get behind, but chances are you do oats the way too sugary way. Many clients come to me boasting about their oatmeal breakfast choice. To my dismay, I oftentimes learn it's the brown sugar or even a harmless sounding flavor like apples and cinnamon, that's throwing off their healthy eating habits, says Hayam. Flavored oats can contain upwards of 20 grams of added sugar and cause you to crave sweets throughout the day. Instead, make your own oats, add your own fruits, and control for any added sugar or flavoring you wish to add. 13 Watching TV while you eat breakfast So, maybe your New Year's resolution was to keep up with current events better. Sorry folks. Still not a good excuse to turn on the tube while you eat. Being focused on the TV takes away the mindfulness of eating and the appreciation of the flavors and textures of the foods you are putting in your mouth, as well as the size of the portions that you are eating, say the nutrition twins. Instead, take the time to eat slowly and mindfully, chewing every bite consciously and sends distraction from the OL tube. 14. Not reaching for the H2O when you first get up. This affects your waistline more than most people realize, the nutrition twins reveal. Every process in your body takes place in water from helping to flush wastes from your colon to the efficient functioning of your metabolism. Also, inadequate water intake quickly leads to dehydration, and even being slightly dehydrated immediately impacts energy levels, this results in needing more naps and being less active, which in turn equals fewer calories burned and a bigger waistline. Speaking of metabolism, find out the 25 things you're doing to slow your metabolism. 15. Enjoying a low-fat pastry on the reg. Older generations hear words like bran or low-fat and instantly assume it's the healthy choice, says Hayam. Think again, these foods, which can be high in fiber, are actually usually loaded with processed flour, high in sugar, and can be high in sodium too. Don't be fooled by the name at the bakery counter or on the menu. Read the labels and always the ingredients. Muffin tin recipes for weight control? Now those are tasty, flat belly delights we can get behind. 16. Overindulging in dairy. Got milk for breakfast? Most people do, and coupled with all the cheese, yogurt, and other dairy products we tend to guzzle down on breakfast, it's definitely not helping us stay svelte. Ditch dairy for breakfast to avoid bloating and long-term weight gain, along with other health issues, suggests Hever. Since 65-90% to 90 of the world is lactose intolerant, your body will likely respond to dairy in an inflammatory, belly-expanding way. Try hemp, almond, soy, or cashew milk in place of dairy milk in your smoothie or cereal bowl. 17 Consuming mainly carbs for breakfast. Most people realize a carb-loaded bagel with a smear of cream cheese may not be the healthiest option because it typically contributes in excess of 500 calories. But even if you're only eating a healthy bowl of oatmeal or a plate of fruit, it still backfires, explain the nutrition twins. You digest carbs in several hours, and without protein to provide longer-lasting satiety, you'll be starving by mid-morning. Also, once you've digested the carbs without a source of protein, your blood sugar quickly drops and you'll crave a pick-me-up likely in the quickest form you can get it sugar. What to do instead? Choose fiber-filled carbs and be sure to have a lean protein with it. Both will keep blood sugar levels stable and keep you feeling full longer so you don't find yourself at the vending machine mid-morning. The perfect example would be a small bowl of oatmeal with eggs or with Greek yogurt. 18 Eating whole grain cereal every day. But hey, it's whole grain. Not so fast. Whole grains is a marketing term and can loosely be applied to foods if they contain some amount of whole grains, warns Hayam. Most often, though, the food may contain whole grains, but in addition to regular wheat, or white flour. These foods also have to maintain a long shelf life, 
so are pumped with preservatives, sodium, and artificial flavors and lack many of the needed vitamins and minerals. Read the label and put the box back if you spot any of those red flag words. 19 Eating straight from a cereal box Whether you skip the bowl because you're just chillin' on the couch with the GMA crew or because you're too rushed to bother with dishes, sticking your hand in a cereal box is a big no-no. When you do this, portion control is non-existent because it's nearly impossible to even know how much you consume, advise the nutrition twins. A box can hold 10 servings or more. And even if you have 3 servings, you probably won't know it since it doesn't make a huge dent in the box. It's far too easy to eat hundreds of calories unknowingly. Carve out time to set a place at the table and eat from a bowl with real utensils. Here's more proof that mindful eating is key to weight loss. 20 Never Turning Down Bacon Just because it's traditional doesn't mean it's safe. Eating these kinds of foods will not only promote bloat and fat gain, but will cause postprandial lipemia a temporary condition where your blood is thickened from the fat, cholesterol, and free radicals floating around your arteries. Doing this regularly promotes weight gain, obesity, and cardiovascular disease, says Hever. Instead, try a healthful tofu scramble and tempeh bacon, which contains zero cholesterol and healthful fats or a big bowl of oatmeal with flax seeds and berries so that the hefty dose of fiber will help you lose weight, stay trim in the long run, and keep you full for longer. If you claim you don't have time in the morning, then refer to this amazing list of 15 healthy breakfast ideas, 5 minutes, 5 ingredients. 21 Just having coffee. I'm not skipping breakfast, you say. I'll just have coffee. Not so fast. Just a cup of coffee does not make a meal. If you want to avoid being hangry, then you need energy and not just caffeine, says Rebecca Scritchfield, RD and author of Body Kindness. I like to put smoothie ingredients in a blender and refrigerate it overnight so it's only 3 minutes out of my morning and I can sip it on the way to work. If preparing food isn't an option, at least make it a grab-and-go meal. Time really not on your side this week, slash ever. Try these 5 ingredient, 5 minute breakfast ideas. 22 Dismissing Vegetables Why is it that breakfast is always associated with dairy, eggs, bread, bacon, cereal, and fruit? What about vegetables? They get left out of the morning meal mix too often, and that's bad news for weight-conscious consumers, advises Liz Weiss, MS, RD of Meal Makeover Moms. Vegetables are the perfect fit for a healthy breakfast. They're naturally low in calories, filled with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, and they're rich in fiber, which is filling and satisfying. Some of my favorite easy and flavorful ways to boost your veggie intake at breakfast, add sautéed spinach and bell peppers to omelets, mix pureed pumpkin into pancakes, blend baby kale and cucumbers into your green smoothie, or do what the Europeans do and roast mushrooms and cherry tomatoes and serve them as a side with your favorite savory breakfast. Is your mouth watering now? 23 Being in a total food rut. When you eat the same thing over and again, you'll get bored. And then your time spent eating one of life's greatest pleasures is less fun, says Scritchfield. Variety is the spice of life and it helps make sure you get a variety of nutrients as well. I like to bust food ruts with non-traditional breakfast ideas like tuna with avocado or black beans with an egg on top. 24 Eating only fruit for breakfast. Think you're making the virtuous choice? Beware. Yes, fruit is healthy and rich in antioxidants, but if you don't add protein to the mix, you'll be distracted by your hunger an hour or two later, explain the nutrition twins. This will more than likely result in you needing to make a desperate trip to the vending machine where you may grab the first thing you see. Consider these 18 high-protein breakfasts that keep you full for plenty of AM ideas. 25. Grabbing a handful of nuts as your breakfast. If you're in a pinch, you can do better than grabbing a few walnuts from a bag and pretending the brain healthy, waistline healthy choice is all you need. Nuts are healthy and contain vitamins, minerals, and good-for-you fats, but they don't contain carbohydrates, say the nutrition twins. Your brain and muscles need carbohydrates for fuel. Without carbs, you'll feel exhausted and like you need to nap. You also may crave an energy pick-me-up and turn to the first thing you find, sugar. 6. Keeping your breakfast low-fat Beyond just a low-fat pastry habit, see tip hashtag 15, it's also important to avoid maintaining a low-fat breakfast regime in general. Our brains are mostly fat and yet health-conscious people trying to lose weight will cut fat to cut calories. But you need to remember that fat enhances satiety which keeps you from wanting food for longer, advises Scritchfield. We also need fat to absorb certain vitamins A, D, E, K that play powerful roles in our body functions, from eyesight to metabolism. So, bring back butter, on your veggies. 27 Drinking a soda for breakfast. Just you. But hear us out. While you may like turning to soda for something sweet and you enjoy the quick pick-me-up from the caffeine and sugar, soda's completely devoid of nutrients. Plus, 
the sugar and the caffeine can cause a sugar high followed by a crash that sends you in a frantic search for more food, say the nutrition twins. This can lead to overeating. Not to mention, drinking soda on an empty stomach can cause tummy troubles and irritation and contribute to everything from indigestion to ulcers. Is there any wonder as to why soda is one of the 50 unhealthiest foods on the planet? 28 Doing smoothie bowls the wrong way. We know, we know, they're Instagram gold but they may not always be as healthy as you assume. If you've jumped on the smoothie bowl for breakfast bandwagon, you can easily sabotage your healthy eating goals by succumbing to portion distortion. It's easy to go overboard on smoothie bowl portions and toppings, cautions wise. Keep portions to about 1 cup and be mindful of toppings by going heavy on the fresh fruit but keeping the higher calorie coconut chips and nuts to a small handful. 29 Reaching for flavored yogurt While yogurt, in general, can be a good source of protein, calcium, and probiotics, those benefits are cancelled out by the high sugar content if the yogurt is flavored, offers Rebecca Lewis, RD for popular meal kit delivery service HelloFresh. If you do enjoy yogurt, opt for a non-flavored one and select Greek yogurts, which are typically lower in sugar and higher in protein. 30 Grabbing Beef Jerky as a Quick to Go Treat While this easily totable food quickly gives you access to some protein on the run, most jerkies are chock full of sodium to preserve the meat, says Lewis. Yuck, indeed. All of the sodium causes water retention and bloating not to mention the long-term effects of high blood pressure. 31 Stopping at a fast food restaurant several times a week for breakfast If you go to a fast food joint, you'll get roughly 300 extra calories more than a breakfast you'd eat at home. And if you do this three times a week, you'll gain 8 pounds over the course of a year, caution the nutrition twins. Plus, you'll typically eat excess sodium from the fast food joint, which means you're now starting your day doing a number on your heart and feeling bloated. Curious about how bad your go-to-morning sandwich really is? Check out our exclusive report on the best and worst breakfast sandwiches. 32 Using zero-calorie sweeteners in your coffee While they are generally regarded as safe, zero-calorie sweeteners are synthetic and unnatural, have much disputed and unknown negative health consequences, and are much sweeter than natural sugar, which makes other foods seem less sweet by comparison, Lewis explains. Instead, use real sugar, but in moderation. 33 Opting for fruit juice instead of the whole fruit Ever notice you can chug a whole litter of apple juice but you can't exactly eat three apples in one sitting? While we all need to eat more fruits and veggies and fruit juice does have fruit in it what's missing is all the fiber that would normally go along with the fruit, says Lewis. Even with a 100% fruit juice, what you end up consuming is a high calorie and high sugar drink, even with small 4 ounce portions. 34 Only drinking a small green juice in the morning Overeating later in the day because of post-breakfast hangriness? No thanks. Green juice is a great way to get vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, but if your juice only includes a handful of healthy veggies, the chances are good that it's not going to keep you satisfied or give you the energy you need to get through your day, share the nutrition twins. You'll feel tired and crave more food as the drink will lack protein and typically fiber, which are two things you need to stay satisfied. P.S. By all means, sip on healthy green juices, like these ones, but just make sure you pair it with protein and fiber for a balanced meal. 35 Putting bad for you wrong foods in easily viewed and reached places. Morning. Groggy. Lazy. Oh, hey loaf of double chocolate banana bread. Translation, where you store your food could be ruining your healthy breakfast goals. Ever heard of out of sight out of mind? Well, you can't eat the things you don't have, and you're less likely to eat them if they aren't right in front of you, shares Lewis. Instead, place bowls of fruits and veggies out on the counter instead of unhealthy snacks. Even better. Pre-cut and prep fruits and veggies the night before so you can grab them from the fridge as you run out the door. 36 Not getting enough sleep. Yep, it's influencing your healthy breakfast goals. Research has shown that missing even just a single night of sleep can really wreak havoc on the way your appetite hormones work. One night of poor sleep can make you feel hungrier than usual the next morning, says Lewis. So, make sure you are getting 6 to 8 hours of sleep a night. Start by turning down lights and powering down your electronics about an hour before bed. 37 Eating your food like you're in a race. If you are rushing through the morning, you might need to slow down. It takes time for the signal from your stomach to get to your brain that you've just eaten. Slow down, put your fork down between bites, try to stretch your meal to be a full 20 minutes, and stop eating when you're medium full, advises Lewis. If all you're eating is a quick nutrition bar while on the goal, try eating and chewing it more mindfully as well. PSST. These are the 16 best nutrition bars for every goal. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to channels.